Good morning. I can still say good morning because it is before noon. <clears throat> Come on in. Hey, Leslie. It's like I'm in a gel cell in here. Like the walls, we've been like redoing stuff in this office. I just realized how bare everything looks. I uh, got a spot. You're in. Come on in. All right. So we're going to start this on time. Um, right at. And I'm going to keep this, um, you know, pretty. Uh, I'm going to keep this a lot shorter for you so it's easier to share. There we go. Easier to share, better video on it. Good morning. Uh, thank you guys for being here. Hey, Britt from Washington, Elmira, New York. We got some new people in today. Great. All right. Um, so if you're new to the scope and you're new to my videos and everything, thank you so much for getting on. I'm Dr. Jim Bob Haggerton, a chiropractor in Texas. And on these scopes, we talk about function and health uh, and the way the body's created and the fact that your body is created for perfect. Perfect function is the way that the Lord created your body 24-7, 365. Now, the ways that we um, get off of that, the reason that our bodies create symptoms is because we create set, we create stress. And there's different stressors that can come up. Toxins is one of the biggest ones, all right? Uh, love the scope last night. Good. Um, thank you guys for sharing so much. If you uh, don't know how to share, swipe left on your phone or you can swipe up. I'm pretty sure it's left on most phones. Click share. You can share this on Facebook and stuff. That way uh, people can see that you're on. If you're looking for other videos, go to YouTube. I have not got them back on the website yet. So go to YouTube. Look me up on there. I put all of these on YouTube for you. Uh, and I'm redoing a lot of the ones we had on there. Uh, if you are watching this on replay, thank you for getting on and for taking the 20 minutes or whatever this is, whatever it takes, um, to look up more information uh, and educate yourself. So, um, you know, someone loved you enough that they shared a link with you on a video to help you live a healthier life. And that's the whole point. Uh, toxins like whiskey cake um, didn't like you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's great. The restaurant was great. Uh, Whiskey Cake is a restaurant in, um, it was in Oklahoma City that we went to that had great food and we were speaking live. This weekend, I'll be live. Well, I love you. Thank you for getting on here. Um, this week, I'll be live in uh, Florence, Alabama uh, with April Houghton and her amazing group. Uh, we're going to have fun up there. Um, if you're interested in that, check that out online. Uh, never. Uh, next week, um, we are going to be in uh, Kansas City on Thursday. And then the Spring Symposium is on Saturday here in Grapevine. Then we'll be in Iowa. Uh, then I'm going to be in Ohio. Oh, thank you so much. It's good to see you. Okay, let's get started on this. And let's get talking about uh, toxins in the home. Because a toxic home equals a toxic family. Why? And the reason I'm redoing this, I wanted to make it a little bit shorter for you. Uh, so that it was easier to share uh, and easier to use. Because last time I just went off and I was like crazy ruby red all over the place. When I rewatched it, I was like, we need to redo this one. Uh, okay, so uh, I do nutritional consults. I help families with health. I help with kids. We specialize in pregnancy and kids. And we see kids every day. One of the things I notice over and over and over is that you guys are doing a great job in learning how to clean up diet. Most of you. Some of you need to do better. Okay, uh, You're doing a great job in cleaning up things that you're drinking. People are trying to drink more water. Like People are getting better at those things. One of the easiest things to do to change, one of the easiest changes to make to help your family live healthier is to get major toxins out of the way. You know, the biggest area of toxins that your kids are going to run into and that you're going to run into as a family is in your home, the things that you're cleaning the house with. So typically at home, what ends up happening is everyone's walking around uh, barefoot, everyone's uh, rolling around on the carpet, whatever the case may be, even if you've got the hardwoods, but the toxins and the things that you are cleaning the house with uh, will soak up through the skin or they're going to breathe it in through the air and you're going to get those into your body. Whatever, uh, whatever you touch on your skin is going to get through into the body. It's part of what happens with the skin. So the thing that's important is in taking stock of all of the different, all the different cleaners that you got at the house and having the healthiest options that you possibly can. That's a huge first step. What good is it if you're eating really healthy? What good is it if you've switched your diet, if you switch your diet to all this organic stuff? What good is it if you're using healthy products and supplements and things like that? What good are all those things if you're going to use toxic chemicals to clean your house with and you're going to be getting toxins that way? Because there's only two things, there's only two things that are going to kick your body away from health. Two things. Ready? One, toxins getting things inside the body that it doesn't need, 
or deficiencies, not getting things that the body needs. So you're either deficient in something that's healthy, or in this instance, if you're using uh, a lot of the normal cleaners, like the typical cleaners you'd get from the store, there are toxins and tons of chemicals in those, and that toxic load will push your body away from health and it has to adapt, okay? All right, so let me give you the top seven of my top seven picks. There's a lot more chemicals in this in there. Don't think that these are the only seven chemicals uh, and toxins that are found in uh, household cleaners, in common household cleaners. This isn't all of them. These are the top seven that I picked out of the list to really kind of give you some stuff to point out um, that is huge. And, and there's so many things that happen with toxins. Now, uh, one thing that people uh, have said to me is, well, you know, we use blah, blah, blah cleaner, or we use bleach, or we use Febreze or whatever, and it hasn't ever caused any problems with our family. Well, that you know of, and everyone responds differently. So I can take five people, or I can take however many, and I can put them in a room, uh, and I can use a toxic cleaner in there. Um, one of them is going to start exhibiting this symptom. These three over here are going to have a totally different symptom. Uh, one of them might not exhibit symptoms at all, but it doesn't mean that it doesn't change the way the body functions. Hold up, hold up. I got to drop a mic on that. Oh, wait a minute. You mean that you don't have to have a symptom to have a change, a negative change in the body? Oh, man, it's true. You don't have to have an outward symptom of a change going on in the body that you don't want. So just because, just because you're not like, getting these major symptoms in the body and it's not affecting you outwardly doesn't mean it's not affecting you inwardly. So make sure and keep that in mind. All right, so here are seven. I'll let you guys get a screenshot of this. Seven common toxins that are in household cleaners and other things that you use uh, to clean your dishes with or whatever else it is. So parabens, parabens, fragrances. Fragrances we're gonna talk about. It's a lot like natural flavors. We're gonna talk about that. Formaldehyde is a chemical that's used to create and make a lot of household cleaners. Phthalates, petroleum byproducts, which the petroleum byproducts will build up uh, and can accumulate in the body and in the bodies of your children. Uh, and so then it starts creating globs of this stuff that starts affecting function, whether it's circulation or hormone production or whatever. Triclosan, triclosan is used in household cleaners, is also found in hand sanitizers. Triclosan has been linked to hormone disruption, endocrine disruption, uh, and it's been uh, linked to superbugs because it is an antibacterial that they use in a lot of these cleaners. And then the last one, lead, mercury, and other heavy metals can be found in your household cleaners and the different toxic chemicals that are in there, okay? All right, so let's talk about fragrances real quick because this one's important, and then I'm going to give you a couple of different categories to look at in your home to make sure that these products are really healthy. Then I'm gonna give you a good replacement that's a healthy replacement that's the best one on the market uh, by far in our opinion that we use every single day. Uh, so when you're talking about fragrances first, to go on this, fragrances is a, it's kind of a catch-all label for toxins that companies don't have to explain to you. Like natural flavoring, when they use that label on foods, oh, it has natural flavoring. Well, maybe that might be uh, orange extract, but it also might be MSG, or it might be aspartame, okay? Because if it says natural flavoring, they don't have to tell you what it is, uh, and they can put a lot of things that get linked into that label. Fragrance is the exact same thing. So if it says fragrances on the label, then it's toxic, for sure. Fragrances on the label means that it's got toxins. Hi. Um, so that's a big thing that you got to look at on there and you got to learn to read labels. Same thing on uh, serving sizes and stuff with food. Uh, that right there um, is a big deal to be able to learn on, you know, how they change the uh, serving sizes on food to be able to include, to be able to include, okay, to be able to include uh, different toxins in there but not have to tell you. Okay, does that make sense? All right. So let me give you uh, four categories of different products that you all have in your home. All of us use this. All of these. All of us are going to clean the house, hopefully. All of us are going to clean your laundry. All of us are going to clean your dishes. So there's different categories. You need to look at the products and look at the ingredients uh, and know that you are using uh, toxin-free products that are healthy for your family and not that are going to create problems and push your body away from wellness, Okay. You got that weird dude spot, good. It's like, hey, come see our show on Haunted whatever. Whatever, I can't say that. Okay, the app is called Think Dirty App. It's really good. You can look up and you basically scan the uh, barcodes and it'll give you a rating on a lot of your different products and stuff. It's really good. Okay, 
Four different categories of products. Your household cleaners, okay? Household cleaners, dish soap, laundry soap, air fresheners. Four categories in the home that are very common to be using products that are normal store-bought products that are full of toxins, full of things that are gonna drive up estrogen and they're gonna disrupt your endocrine system, right? Uh, so the air fresheners, uh, laundry soap, the good thing is that Young Living came out with uh, last year, uh, this is a dish soap that is made by Thieves. We recommend you switch everything to Thieves because they have Thieves hand soap, Thieves dish soap, Thieves household cleaner, okay? Thieves household cleaner. There's a whole line, Thieves laundry soap. There's a whole line of Thieves products that is um, A, toxin free. It does not have all of the harmful toxins and the chemicals and the heavy metals in it. B, it is infused with Thieves essential oil and the different essential oils to boost wellness, to boost function, and to help your family live healthier, period, okay? And it smells fantastic, doesn't it? Yeah, it's almost like cleaning the floor with it is like running a diffuser, okay? Um, using diffusers instead of air fresheners, like instead of putting air fresheners in the wall that are going to emit toxic chemicals, uh, get a diffuser. Use citrus oils. You know, use something in the uh, in the diffuser that smells great, that helps uh, uh, helps with the air freshness itself, but is toxin free. Okay, that is a big deal. Uh, that way, you're again helping get the effect you want, but promoting wellness and promoting health. Okay, that's the whole point. Because it, 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 again, it does you no good to be eating all this really good food and spending so much. Yeah, the, uh, I don't think they have dishwasher soap. This is actually just for washing dishes. They have dishwasher soap. Someone tell me. I can't remember. I'm blanking on this if they have uh, automatic dishwasher soap yet or not. I don't think so. No. Okay, that's what I thought. This is just for uh, dishes. Yep. Uh, so there's not automatic yet. Yeah, you can make it real easy. Oh, which is a great point uh, that I want to show you guys. Um, because I want to give you a uh, resource to look at different recipes and stuff. This is uh, her book, her third book, but Melissa Pepping is an awesome leader and she's a great resource on all things uh, cleaning and all things toxin free and DIY stuff for the house. This is Chemical Free Home 3. It's a lot of um, recipes and stuff for things to use with your kids and everything, but she has three different chemical free home books, okay? I'm gonna let you get a picture of that website, <coughs> chemicalfreehome.com chemicalfreehome.com. They're fantastic. She's awesome. There she is being goofy on the back, uh, sapphire to the core. So um, check those out. And she's got DIY to be able to make your own dish soap, to make your own cleaners, make your own wipes, stuff like that, so that you can use essential oils and use the Thieves products and things like that um, and, um, and get the, the things that are going to make your family healthy. Now, one thing I did want to point out is someone was like, well, someone said something about, well, Thieves household cleaner is more expensive than ABC brand that they bought it, whatever. Well, remember, Thieves Household Cleaner is a concentrate. So the difference in the cleaner when you get the Thieves Household Cleaner and bonus, the Thieves Household Cleaner will clean anything. Like it'll clean the kitchen, it'll clean the bathroom, it'll clean the floors, it'll clean the windows, it'll clean the mirrors, it'll clean anything, okay? Um, so you can use it on any different surface and it totally works. Um, the thing about it is that it's concentrate, so you're diluting it down. Like you're actually taking that Exactly. It's really economical. That's very true because you're diluting that product down and it will go way further. Um, and we have our spray bottles full of the Thieves Cleaner around the house so that we can grab that and use it around the house when we need to and need to clean different spots. Okay, so that's that's huge. But the, the concentrate part is something that people, it's totally fine around babies. Absolutely. It's fine if they crawl on it. It's fine if you walk on it because it's toxin free. There's not all those chemicals in it that there are in the normal store-bought cleaners. Boom. Okay, so this is something I just wanted to point out. I wanted to bring your attention and I wanted to make the point of like, dude, if you're working out, you're doing all these things and then you're cleaning with something that has toxins in it, you're defeating the purpose. Like you're harming the body with the things you're using every single day and then trying to make up for it with organic kale or trying to make up for it by running an extra mile. Blah, 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 blah. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, like it's a whole package. Like we want to make sure that we're not getting toxins in and that we're adding the good stuff in. So toxins out, good in. And as you do that, you're helping to support your immune system and support the body, period. All right. Can you put a cap full in the washing machine to clean the kids' toys? You know, they've got um, the, yeah, you could totally do that, I know. Um, but the uh, we use it to spray onto toys. 
like here at the office and stuff. We use it to spray on the toys, we spray it on the equipment and things like that here at our chiropractic office. Uh, and then we use it at the house too. It's actually the Thieves Household Cleaner is the first product that we were introduced to that we used in the office for years, like five years before we ever got into um, doing essential oils and everything else. I'm gonna talk about hand sanitizers and Thieves Spray Next Scope, so I can go back over that one with you guys and make sure that I keep that one really compliant and shareable. Um, and then I'm gonna do the Essential Oils 101 video over for you. I've got the new Ord books in from uh, Lori Gordon, Oil Revolution Designs. Uh, it's fantastic, and I'm going to go over those with you so we can include uh, the Vitality line and everything in that. And I'm going to do it two ways on that. I'm going to I'm going to explain how we do a one-on-one -on -one class, and then I'm going to do that uh, Periscope as if I'm doing it for a live one-on-one um, -on -one class, so that you can use it. I mean, so that it's a resource and you guys can share it uh, because I want you guys to be able to use it. I want to bless you. There you go. All right. I hope this was helpful. Uh, I hope this was uh, something that um, um, triggered a few things for you guys. Oh, thanks. Okay, good. Good, good, good. All right, so I'm going to let you guys go so that I keep this short and I make sure I'm not, I'm not using up your time. Have a fantastic lunch. Uh, tomorrow, I probably won't be on. I'm getting ready to travel. I'm getting up to Alabama. Over the weekend, I'll be on. I'll check in with you guys and make sure um, that you guys are uh, abreast of all the awesomeness that's happening and uh, new things that the Lord's doing up there. Uh, so we're pumped about that. Uh, praying for y'all. I hope you have a fantastic week. Remember, all this stuff is simple, but it's not easy. Bless you back. We'll talk to you soon.